Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey folks, Tony Policastro here from the Acoustic Letter. Today we're going to look at a 1931 D28 Authentic that just came in on our Martin shipment, and I'm very, very excited about it. But before we do so, please click on the link below and see what some of our current subscribers have to say about the Acoustic Letter. If you like what they have to say, go ahead and sign up. You'll be very happy that you did so. This guitar that I am holding right here is one that I have waited for for quite, quite, quite some time. I've read about it, and then I read again about it, and then I reread about it, and finally it showed up. I'm very, very excited to be holding the 1931 D28 Authentic. This is a new guitar for Martin, based off a very old guitar. In fact, based so much in that they actually took a CAT scan of a 1931 D28 that they had in their museum and replicated this very instrument. What we have is an Adirondack spruce top with scalloped X bracing, also made out of Adirondack spruce, positioned in the exact same spot of the 1931 D28 in the museum. Ebony bridge with a long ivory saddle, ebony fingerboard with split diamond inlays, a 1 and 7 eighths inch ivory nut, blank slotted headstock with the Martin stamp on the other side, Waverly tuners, nice chunky mahogany neck with a nice V in it, and a beautiful, beautiful piece of Madagascar rosewood on the back and sides. This thing screams authentic because literally down to the binding, down to the herringbone that they use on it is an exact replica of what they used in 1931. So we're going to give this 1931 D28 Authentic a play so you can hear what this 12 fret monster sounds like. Interested in this guitar? Go to AcousticLetter.com now and email us with your questions. For more acoustic reviews and comparisons, click the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel.